Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Clean Genius program. So this is a free app that you could download to kind of clean up your system and do a bunch of other things. Uh, these, this company also does like hard drive recovery and uh, file recovery and that kind of stuff. Lots of other programs that they offer, but this one's a free one. So we'll show you what it does. So if you're used to using something like CCleaner to clean up your computer, this will do the same kind of thing plus some uh, other things as well. So we have four sections here. Cleanup, privacy, optimization, and application. So we're going to first start with the cleanup section and run a scan here. Okay, so once it's done, you could kind of expand each item here and see what it found. And then you could check or uncheck the things you wanted to clean up. Also, it does the uh, junk cleanup and registry cleanup, plug-in cleanup for your browsers. So it's kind of cool how it could remove stuff from your uh, browsers as well in regards to extensions and that kind of thing. So once you check the uh, items you want to remove, you just click on clean. So it found four and a half gigs and 254 invalid entries in the registry. So out of that, there's 774 selected. So if I wanted to uh, check this and get some more, I could do that. So I'm just going to do it the uh, default here, just to do a quick clean. Okay, so that's done. The uh, space uh, cleanup was pretty quick. The registry uh, cleanup took a little longer. So you can view the logs if you want to get into that kind of thing. So we'll click on done there. So now to the privacy section here. So this will check your uh, various settings for your browser and applications in relation to privacy. So let's do a scan here and see what it finds. Okay, so jump list had found a bunch of items here. Recently opened files. Start menu items, console history, search history, browser items. So if you wanted to go through all these, you could see what it's going to do before you clean them, which is sometimes it's a good idea, especially for when it comes to the files and the cleanup and the registry entries. So we'll go ahead and clean this here. So that was much quicker, so that's done. You can view the logs again. And then there's a file shredder here too. If you wanted to add a file or folders to be shredded to be permanently deleted, you could do that. Then we have optimization section here. All right, so with the file showing, quickly show files that cannot be shown on local disk or SD card. So let's see what this does here. So this flash drive just has a few things on it. I just wanted to run on here to see if it found anything. And you can check this box if you want to uh, check and fix the uh, file system error. So it's kind of like a check disk. Okay, view the results. So that's just the uh, shows what's on the flash drive. Uh, write protection, so if you wanted to uh, write protect a disk here, so this one's already write protected, so this uh, backup drive here, so if I open this drive, and if I try and delete, so if I right click on this, you'll see there's not even a delete option here, so and if I hit delete key, which I'm doing on my keyboard, it can't be deleted, and if I turn this off, now I go back here, And see, I have the trash can icon, so I can delete it again. So it's a good way to kind of write protect something, so make sure you don't accidentally delete anything off of it. Okay, and now if you're running Windows 10 and you're sick of that little uh, Windows 11 update thing and you don't want it to be bothered by it, you can turn this on. And this, this just changes the uh, way the app appears and operation habits. If you want to have these icons shown on the desktop or not. Um, Default location when you open File Explorer. So let me close this. So right now it goes to Home, which is uh, called Quick Access, depending on what version of Windows you're using. So they're going to change it from uh, Quick Access to Home. Then you can have it show file extensions if you want to do that. Okay, then the application setting here is where you could come and just uninstall 
anything that you have installed on your computer. So I'll just kind of give you a listing like the uh, app setting does or uh, add remove programs does in the control panel. And then on the top here, the rating thing which we don't care about, then you have some menu items here if you want to change the, the language. If you want to have it automatically run at startup, if you want to clean up the logs and the settings, if you want to do a scheduled setup, so that way you don't have to go in there automatically clean for you. And if you want to get notified when you have more than a certain amount of junk files from 500 megabytes to 10 gigabytes. And then you can disable notifications if you want. So that's the quick uh, overview of the uh, Clean Genius app. So it's pretty cool and it's free and it's like I said, it's similar to uh, CC Cleaner. And it seems to do a good job and it doesn't seem to cause any problems, at least not yet. So like I said, just be careful when you're scanning stuff. And make, you know, look at what it's going to delete before you go ahead and have it clean it just so you don't end up getting rid of something you don't mean to. All right, so I'll put a link in the description of how you could download it and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.